So, this one is called as pop it and it is a very useful kind of a uh, model. So, this model is used in areas where the company is going to introduce some kind of a new information technology. So, what happens there? So, assume that you are a company and you want to uh, uh, introduce information technology. For example, we will take the same supermarket uh, example case. So, the company wants to have the same supermarket plus additionally they have, in, have, have a facility of online ordering. So, online ordering works like this. Uh, a, consume, a customer can go to the website, order items. All the items are uh, up from the shop. Okay, So, it works like that. So, this is a very small kind of a interface, IT interface you read. You just need a website and you need a, uh, a database kind of a thing to work it out. So, the information technology is not such a sophisticated thing, uh, but you have to update the inventory levels, details and everything uh, which is in the shop, you have to input it in the information technology. So, the information technology part is not that difficult, but the company should not focus only on the information technology. So, that is where pop it comes. pop it says that if you only focus on IT alone and you leave the other POP, that will lead to a lot of problems. So, what is that POP? The first P stands as people. So, when you are going to introduce this kind of a website, you have to tell a part of your employees. So, assume that you have 100 employees in the uh, grocery store, okay, you have 100 employees in the supermarket, you have to split 20% of them to the website division, okay, so the online ordering. So, you have to train that 20% of people, you have to tell them how an order comes, how they have to pick out the items, how they have to bring it into a particular basket, how they have to build it and how they have to deliver it to the staff. So, people are an important component of the information technology change. So, staff need to have the right skill to do it, they should have the right motivation to do it, they should be very clear about their task and their role. Okay, staff should have a, need to be developed to support this kind of a change. If they have any resistance, that also has to be like managed and overcome. So, this is a change in the cultural uh, setup of the company. So, out of the 100 people, 20 people are have to be devoted to the, uh, deployed to the online ordering side of business. So, next we will move on to the O. So, O refers to the organization. See, as, this, uh, as we are like sending 20 people to another new division, okay, the online ordering division, these 20 people should have a clear job role. They should know to whom to uh, uh, listen to, whom to report, whom to communicate. Uh, there should be an organizational structure out of this 20 people who is going to be the supervisor, who are going to be the workers. Uh, the as it is a new new system, the bureaucracy or rules following should be kept to a minimum and there should be a constant organizational support and help for this people. Okay? So, organizational structure is what uh, has to be re redefined in the puppet model. So, the last P refers to the process. So, these 20 people who are going to be there in the online uh, ordering department, okay? so whenever they should be having a clear process like uh, when the order will be, whenever the order is going to be received, what is their work, okay, how they are going to uh, start the work and end the work. So, they have to be clear in terms of uh, how to view the order, pick the items, pack the items, put it in a cart and give it to the customer. So, this is a process. So, this process should be very clear and it should be very well defined. So, the logic of pop it is everything, the people, the organization, the process, the information technology, all of them should work hand in hand. They should work simultaneously, something like a symphony music. So, it is not about the solo music okay, of IT, it is actually the symphony music of pop it. So, I hope you have understood how it works. So, in a case, you will also have the same similar kind of a situation where uh, there will be out of this pop it, one thing will be right and the other three things will be wrong. So, usually the information technology would be the right part, the POP would be the wrong part. Okay, So, you have to find out what is wrong and what has to be rectified. So, the last is information technology which we discussed. The IT should uh, support the changes. So, IT part should be the website creation and the inventory uh, stock taking that has to be integrated. The IT should provide relevant information 
to the customer as well to the employees for the customer it should tell what are the products which are available to the employee it should tell what are the products they have to pick pack and uh, give it to the customer uh, so it should replace a lot of manual work if it is possible so that it improves the efficiency it it may facilitate organizational change yes in our case we had a organizational change and the maximum business benefit should be exploited so these are the entirety of profit model so the last part of the video is talent management so what is talent management see in today's world every company is striving for to get a competitive advantage so when compared to a competitor every company should have some kind of a competitive advantage like apple has innovation or walmart has a cost leadership if you take virgin brand they have a brand rolls royce the quality and the heritage okay so there is always a, some kind of a competitive advantage for companies so which competitive advantage should be developed should we improve the brand uh, should we improve the brand or the innovation or uh, the quality okay which one should we develop the answer is whether it's going to be your brand your quality or innovation all depends upon the humans in the company because your brand is created by some human in the company and marketed perfectly the quality is a result of all the human effort that has been put the innovation is the creativity that comes in the mind of a employee so humans are the most strategic asset of a company so people are a major source of competitive advantage so the training development in them should be seen as an investment and not a cost recruiting should be based on the potential and cultural fit not on recommendations or or we know them better learning is is a very essential element okay and constant learning is as important as anything employees have the expectation that they will learn and change and retrain as necessary so this kind of a culture should be instilled in the mind of employees that they have to learn they have to change and they have to retrain themselves or else the company will become obsolete so training and development uh, of staff should be seen as a part of the manager's role manager should always have an eye on what skills are lagging in the employees and what kind of training we could give for the employees changes outside the organizations are reflected in changes to training controls and reward so however the environment is changing the company has to change its employees according to that human resource implications are considered as a part of strategic planning so a long time ago people thought finance was important people thought marketing was important people thought production was important now only they have realized that humans are the most important and human resource department is a very strategic thing okay so now they have understood which is the real asset of a company the employees so thank you very much for watching this video we'll meet in the next video so if you guys really like the video put a like for us and share it with your friends who might find it useful so if you guys have any queries or questions post it in the comment section we'll be like happy to answer them if you guys have any other ideas for further videos uh, you can put it in the comment section we'll be like uh, creating a new video on that topic also so thank you guys we'll meet in the next video